Minicraft Expansion Pack 10 DLC Act. Trophy Guide. One. Craft a grindstone and put an enchanted item in it to get disenchanted trophy. Two. Create a new survival world three. Three exit and save and copy that world for four with the copy world. Switch to creative mode and scout the map for a village near a pillager outpost. Also, look for what the villagers need to trade items. Huh? Okay, twenty-four paper. 5. Screenshot the coordinates. Use the seed for quick and easy travel sim. First I'm gonna play on peaceful so I keep my hunger. 6. Collect the item you need to trade with a villager. I mined sugar cane and made paper. And head to the village near a pillager outpost. So that's the village right? That's the bell. It does. Seven. Make a lot of stone swords. And put everything in a chest except for one stone sword and some dirt next to her village bed. Eight. Wait till night and sleep in the village bed to set spawn. But don't change it to daytime yet nine. Trap the villagers in their homes with dirt to protect them from the pillagers. Ten. Lure a mob to a bell in the village and ring it for sound the alarm. Trophy. Several lured mobs did not work for me. But a creeper works. Got the trophy. It works with a creature. Sound alarm. It's 11. Sleep in bed to change to daytime. Then kill the captain pillager for I've got a bad feeling about this trophy. It has a banner above its head. If you die, just take another stone sword with you. It takes 4 or 5 hits with a stone sword to kill it. You will now have the bad omen effects. <laughs> Thirteen. Shortly, this will trigger we're being attacked. Trophy. A raid is starting. Looks like. Thirteen. At wave three in the raid, a ravager will score. Kill it before the golem does. For kill the beast. Trophy. It takes seventeen hits with a stone sword to kill. Alternatively, you can do the creative mode exploit to get a spawn egg or best gear for the raid, like I did here, but make sure you copy your world before doing the exploit in the next image for- Defeat the current raid wave until you see the hero of the village effect, which is on a time limit. Take your item from the chest and trade with a villager for a discount for buy low. Sell high trophy. Huh? Huh. Buy low, sell high. Is that trophy? How to link in description. Creative mode exploit. Though not really necessary for this DLC, the creative mode exploit has been provided again. If you want to bring anything over, about all that is needed would be a stack of diamond blocks to make your gear, and a stack of emerald blocks for trading. 
This is how the creative mode exploit is done. Load up a new world in survival mode. Craft a chest. Disable autosave. Save. Re-enable the autosave. And quit. Start the world again but in creative. Now, you have about 20-30 seconds to do the exploit. Quickly scroll through the creative mode inventory to select the blocks you need, put them in your inventory bar, and then drop them in the chest. After putting the items in the chest, immediately hold the home button on the controller and close the application. Start the game again and the world should still be registered as being in survival mode, but upon loading, the items you transferred to the chest should be there as well. Subscribe, or I will delete your Minecraft account.